welcome to this video in today's video we are going to look at how to set up a Django development environment how do you start a Django development environment by the end of this video you'll be able to set up a Django development environment if you have never done some before so let's go ahead and see what we cover Django is a Let's look at what is a Django. Django is a high level web framework written in Python that encourages rapid and realistic functional design. The Django web framework is free and is open source and is widely used to create both small and large web applications. So Let's look at what we'll be covering today. We'll look at what is a development environment. Look at what a virtual environment is. Look at how to create Python virtual environment and how to install Django in your virtual environment. Then after that, we'll teach you how to run your Django application. So now let's look at what is a virtual environment. Virtual environment is a development environment. It's an installation of Django on your local computer. That is what is development environment. A development environment is an installation of Django on your local machine or local computer. Setting up your virtual environment is an important step in your website development process. It provides an isolated and controlled space for you to write and test your code. Now look, let's look at what a, develop, a virtual environment is. A virtual environment is a space that allows you to isolate less than to do what to isolate the dependencies and configuration of one project from another it allows you to isolate the dependencies and configuration of one project from another maybe you may be using different versions of django so you don't want them to contradict so doing that you need to isolate the environment and maybe because of compatibility you will need to have different environments to manage all that that is why it is necessary to have development environment virtual environment now let's look at how to set up a virtual environment how do we set up a virtual environment? So let's look at that. So we are going to start look at how to set up a virtual environment. Now go to your computer and let's see where we are going to create our project. So I'm opening doc and I'm going to my document. I've created a folder named project. I'll open it and I'll create a new folder. Name it new jungle. So once I'm done, I'll open this one on in Visual Studio Code. If you are using Windows, it's easy. Here we go small option and I'll open it in Visual Studio Code. So as you can see this is my project here. Once you open this empty folder in Visual Studio Code, let's go and create a new terminal. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to hide this things here. 
and I'll give myself a space. So now we have to click our virtual environment and activate it now. So there are so many ways of creating virtual environment, but the one we'll be using today is the VEMV. It is a built-in Python module that comes with Python 3.3 and any later version. So it is if you if you are watching the video today, it is already a built-in in Python environment. So we type Python M we say V E and V then the name of the virtual environment you want to create. Let's say my E and V my environment and I'll create like this. As you can see it is already created here. You see that new folder is being added already. Then, when you go through the folders, you see that we have to include an order. That's our EMV. So, how do we now run our EMV? Let's look at how to run our EMV. When you open this script under the EMV, you realize that you have activate env then you have all this so we are just going to go inside this one and run it so we say first slash my env slash we are going into the script here script here is a script This script, then we say activate. As you can see, we've now activated our environment. So, whatever we are doing under this terminal is going to be installed here. All the modules that we will install for this project is going to be here. So, let's go ahead and install Django on our EMV. Now let's do pip install Django like this. Install Django like this. As you can see, we are installing Django on our EMV. As uh, Django is only going to be installed on this model, it's not going to be installed anywhere. So after that, we'll look at the version of Django and see if Django is really installed here. So now our Django is successfully installed on our environment so it is telling me that i have it i can upgrade but let's forget about it and see now let's check our jungle version 